Hey guys, this is William with another video for twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola and playagricola.com's YouTube channel. Playing an EIKW France deck game with Joe Knapp, SP, and Eminem. Uh, let's take a look at this first draft. I see Cowboy Mother and Journeyman together. Um, that's a pretty good combo. Because you go to a two-room stone house and you get two animals per round in the middle of the game. Uh, I th think it's not good enough, though, for me to first pick Cowboy and Mother. So I think what I do here is I take Fence Overseer and I hope that ca uh, Clay Hot Builder comes back. Because if Clay Hot Builder comes back, it'll be pretty easy for me to make uh, um, like a five-room house. Well, this is certainly the um, Kimball game. If Kimball would have first picked uh, Cowboy and Mother, and then he would take Midwife, not maybe with this pick, but at some point, uh, Midwife certainly can feed someone who stays on uh, two rooms a decent amount, or on two people. I will take Hoarder. Yeah, and then hopefully, uh, you know what? I don't really want any of these back. They all look pretty bad. Maybe Prefect. Wow, this is, uh, uh, well, how do I pass stable delivery man with fence overseer? Oh, the only way I do that is if I think it's going to come back. What are the cards here? Lady in waiting, which is great. Hobby farmer, great. Pear peeler, seasonal worker. Okay, so three of these all give you crops. So I'm not going to take one of those three because one of them is going to come back. I'm going to take Stable Delivery Man or Lady in Waiting. Now, it's really difficult for me to pass Lady in Waiting, but I think I have to take Stable Delivery Man here. The combo with Fence Overseer is just too, too strong. Farm School Graduate's pretty nice with Hoarder. Um... Stable delivery man. If I play it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah, my game actually goes with farm school graduate reasonably well if I skip one build with stable delivery man. I can play stable delivery man here, and then fence overseer here, and then hoarder there. It is does mean I'm gonna need a ton of food. I could also try for a minimalist game with hoarder. It might be doable. Ah, I think farm school graduates the pick there. And then here I will take. Um, not really likely to play any of these. Probably I'll take Wood Distributor. That's the most likely that I'll pick. And then here, uh, Prefect. The rest of these are all pretty garbage. I'm passing Cowboy and Mother to the mid Midwife to the Cowboy and Mother, but I'm not too worried about that. I think I should be able to have a good enough game based on Hoarder and then this Defense Overseer Stable Deliveryman combo to uh, come out ahead. And then Prefect. Um, I might play for some food. And here I get Pear Peeler. And Pear Peeler is quite a solid card for my seventh pick. Probably better than Wood Distributor and Prefect. So, yeah, pretty decent start. Uh, so, I think I will go with Petting Zoo here. Uh, it's two wood for three bonus points, and yeah, I need, I want to draft lots of points with my miners. Petting Zoo is a pretty strong card I in any case, and also with my fencing so early, it should be easy for me to uh, fulfill the animal requirements.
So yeah, I had a, uh, started the game kind of quickly, just uh, I think Joe was looking for a bit of a quick game. So um, yeah, hello everyone. Um, hmm. Acreage is pretty nice uh, with Pear Peeler. But I think I'm not going to play Pear Peeler until later in the game. Uh, okay, let's take a look at my farm. So if I cover four spaces with stables and fences, and then I do a three-room uh, three stone house, so then I'm going to need to plow four times to fill up my farm. So I think what I want to do here is take Park Cemetery or Witch's Dance Ground. One of those two. Which is dance ground will probably be a two point uh two point minor for me. Cause uh I'm gonna need to get a lot of plows to cover to fill up my farm. So yeah, my thinking is um I'm gonna go for a large house probably build two wood rooms and a clay room or something like that maybe maybe I'll build the fifth room I haven't committed to that yet um, but my thinking is uh, I play f farm school graduate uh, st um, I play stable delivery men in ra uh, harvest around four so that puts a stable seven nine eleven thirteen so I will skip the round seven stable and it'll go back to my farm. Uh, and then when I build a room, I can use the fence overseer for that. So I end up losing out on one wood for it, but I gain the ability to play farm school graduate. And uh, yeah, I think that'd be, I think that would be pretty strong. Uh, chocolate, I like quite a bit, uh, especially with farm school graduate, pays for your next two, uh, your next two occupations. Um, Flagon's all right. Rotterdam Plow, I am worried about filling up my farm a little. I think chocolate though is, chocolate is the play here. Well, this is very fortunate. Taking homework, no questions about that. Homework is fantastic with farm school graduate because it means that I can play stuff in the early game that I would normally have to wait a long time to do. And keyly, I can play stable delivery men like pretty much whenever I want to with homework. I'm not bound by um, the farm school graduate with fortunately drafting homework. Um, yeah. There's canoe out there. So there's a, there was a decent, there was the fisherman. There was a decent uh, fishing combo out there. But um, strawberry patch or full bottomed wig? Probably strawberry patch just because of the one extra point. I do have pear peeler. Yeah. And then here, fruitcake, no question. I'll be interested to see what Joe does with all those. Uh, I've passed him some quite nice cards for some, like like the small house combo, for example. Um, so yeah, if Joe is going to play the Cowboy and Mother game, I just need to be able to blow him out of the water. And I haven't passed him that many bonus point cards. So I've taken a lot of bonus point cards myself. Actually, I have a really strong hand. I think maybe uh, SP and m, &M did not draft all that well. Because uh, my cards are probably a little bit better than they should be. Uh, here, boar breeding, abandoned willow, wood-fired oven. Not abandoned willow, maybe boar breeding. But I think with pear peeler, wood-fired oven is uh, the most likely of these to be useful. 
So yeah, um, we'll see. <laughs> I don't. I'm really not sure how this is going to turn out. I want to go for the first fireplace. Um, it'll let me play chocolate. It'll give me the food I need to uh, play my occupations early on with farm school graduate. And I get free occupation with my first action. Um, okay. I shall play it. Shout out to everyone watching in Twitch chat. Um, say hi if you're there. So a uh, pear peeler and wood distributor combo quite nicely together because I can distribute one wood onto these spaces and then leave leave the wood behind to get a grain. So yeah, I uh, and also wood distributor is pretty good with hoarder as well because with hoarder you have kind of weird uh, some weird moves. Yeah, SP co commenting that lady in waiting went all the way to him. Yeah, and they will understand why when I play Stable Delivery Man <laughs> plus uh, Fence Overseer. Like, that combo is just ridiculous. I only need one wood and one food to fence, and only the two actions, to fence my entire, to fence, do all my fencing. And I get four stables on top of that. It's a bit silly. Uh, nothing I really want to do here. I can do uh, day labor or I can plow. I guess I'll do day labor. So in recent news, the uh, there's a promotional video for the second season of Attack on Titan. I'm a pretty big fan. I'm looking forward to that. Been listening to the music all day, which uh, I'm gonna keep kind of quiet because I don't want this vod to get muted. Uh, so I take two read with homework. Even without homework, it's the obvious pick. He's going to play veterinarian. Uh, <laughs> uh, cowboy and mother. Well, that's good. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, one fewer person to fight with.
what am I gonna do with my second action? Uh, two clay, maybe. I'm mean, playing coffee break this early. Well, I'll definitely do two clay now because now I can get the first fireplace much easier. Okay, so when am I so if I play stable deliveryman in my first harvest, then I'm probably gonna play fence overseer wood distributor with my homework, and then I play pear peeler in the second harvest, and then I can play hoarder in the third harvest, and then prefect maybe in the fourth harvest. Yep. Yeah. And then prefect might prefect might even break even in that harvest already, just because of uh, pottery basket makers workshop. And then it'll just give me a little bit of food for the rest of the game. Not a, it's not a huge deal breaker, but that's sort of the plan right now. Is uh, yeah, stable delivery men, and then these two together in time, so that I can build on that first stable delivery men stable, and then pair peeler, and then hoarder, and then prefect. Uh, so an unknown commenting coffee break so early. Uh, uh, five food early is sick. But yeah, ox are good as well. <laughs> uh, I don't need to fireplace here. I could take three wood. So three wood, uh, second action will be fireplace. Uh, I do need to take food. Although the other thing I can always do is I can always starting player chocolate. And that's the other way of giving me enough food to pay for that, uh, that card. Hmm. What I am interested by is that Joe did not draft um, the plow. But we'll see. Oh, was Hedgekeeper his first pick? I don't remember if I passed it to him or not. So I need to make sure I get that first sheep action ahead of Joe. Joe will probably try to build fences and jump ahead of me to grab them. Fortunately, I go immediately before him, so it'll be kind of difficult for him to do that. So yeah, I will have to do Om's house, or not Om's house, I'll have to do chocolate with this action, with uh, one of these two actions, but that's fine. Actually, I don't even have to if I do Reedstone food, but I probably want to. If I can get Reedstone food and then play chocolate, that, that would that would be pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, no Reedstone food. Um, I could do four clay. I could do three wood. Three wood seems fine. 
Joe doesn't need Reed all that badly. There, it's actually possible that Reed goes to three, because uh, SP doesn't need much Reed with Thatcher. Eminem already has two. Joe's not going to build the room, so... Yeah, there's a chance that, that goes to three read and I get it next round. And if it does, that would be good for me. Oh, Joe, and of course I say that and Joe gets takes two read. So, uh, just how it goes sometimes. There's going to be 6 clay and 5 clay available next round. There's no way that Joe passes on 5 clay if I take 6. Oh, and there's 4 clay gone. see what Joe does here. He might fence. Oh, he would have done starting player. He's played chicken coop. So, good thing that I jump in ahead of him there. Good thing, because I would have been last. So, I'm happy about that. Uh, well, family growth coming out round five. I build a room with my first action. No question. Now, SP does get to, uh, SP does get to grow ahead of me still but I get second action with uh, almost no work so my second action probably needs to be to take two sheep because otherwise my feeding in the next harvest will be too difficult The problem, so like Cowboy and Mother is a good card in that you very reliably can score very high, but the, like you, or sorry, you very reliably score between like 45, like 44 and 52, but the issue is it's very difficult for you to go above that cap. Now, Joe does have Lady in Waiting, so that means he's not planning on using the Cowboy and Mother plows, so he probably has some other way to plow. So then the question becomes, can he get all the setup he needs to to have a nice pretty farm when he wants to do lots of family growth without room actions? Because each family growth without room action will give him actions plus give him three points, which is pretty nice. Um, do I have to starting player here? If Joe does SP after me, then he can steal those sheep. Uh, I think I have to hope that they get to six. And if this is a mistake, then it's a mistake. But uh, I think I kind of have to go for it. Oh, Joe takes wood. Okay. 
Oh, he didn't have any wood. Right. He cannot fence because he had no wood. So I'm kind of worrying about nothing. So what am I going to play on family growth? I will play... I can't afford witch's dance ground. I can't afford petting zoo. I might have to skip out on my miner. Yeah, I don't have enough wood. Or is which? What is this? It says three, right? Yeah, it's three. Okay, mines aren't that bad. I would like to do homework, but uh, homework is are too is too many actions away from for for me to do it. So. clay deliveryman for uh, SP. A ton of clay on the board. Lots of resources on the board in general. We've all put a lot of uh, decent amount of work into uh, just building up our farms. Oh, worm bait. That's pretty nice considering I have wood distributor. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing fantastic, but it's something. So I gotta play this safe, I think. Take a sheep here. If I wanted to play risky, I could take wood and then play petting zoo. But I think I'd rather do this. Oh, and I should have some food. Hopefully three read, two read becomes three read and I get it in the next round. Because then I'll build another room. Oh, and you know what? I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get uh, fence overseer played in time. So I am going to have to skip on this stable, unfortunately. But it only cost me one wood, so. Getting this second growth, like getting it to grow in round six, I should have I should have a really strong game. So I'm not uh, not worried about it at all. SP taking to read. Okay. I'm not expecting him to do those actions, but I guess with Thatcher, you know, he has pretty much all the read he needs for the rest of the game now, so. It's fine enough. Like, it's not a big deal. I have enough food for the next harvest. With chocolate, I play for my, pay for my next two occupation, my next occupation, not my next two. So I need to get reed. That's mostly what I need, is I need a bunch of reed. I guess what I could do is I could have skipped on growing there to grab some wood, but I mean, I save a minor improvement, I gain a minor improvement, I give up an action to gain a minor improvement action. And uh, I'm not too worried about m and so I'm not too worried about blocking him. It's not a huge concern of mine. Especially with him not playing any, any uh, miners. Oh, I wonder if Joe has minimalist. That'd be pretty fun. So one of the problems with Minimalist is that it's very difficult to uh, feed your family without improvements, like without a cooking hearth or whatever. Um, so yeah, if he has midwife and cowboy and mother, that gives him a decent amount of food. Especially midwife. Midwife is going to give him a bunch of food, like almost two food per round on average. So 
So I pass on the stable. I'll grab a uh, reed stone food here because I do need to start accumulating food uh, reed. So I'll play Fence Overseer in this upcoming harvest. In the next stage, I will play Pear Peeler and Wood Distributor with Homework. Then I will play Hoarder in the harvest, uh, two harvests from now, and that will be enough time so that I can get maximum points from Hoarder. So I have two more moves here. I think I'm going to, what is it gonna be easier for me to build? Is it gonna be easier for me to build in a build a clay room or a wood room? Because what I can do is I can take two stone and then reno build the well. I think I like that. And it does uh, set my read back even farther, which is kind of annoying. I guess I don't have to play homework in round eight, round nine. I can do it round 10 or 11. No, and it doesn't set me back that much. But I would like to distribute onto the one clay, one read spot. I want to probably I'm going to want to be using those a fair amount. I'm going to need to take wood next round and I'm going to need to take wood in round 8 because I'm going to pay my one wood for well. So I'm going to need to get wood so that I can build here and then fence oversee it. Hmm. Joe fencing, yeah, not too surprised by that. Big thing for me is that I need to read. Did he reno pottery here? Or did he just pottery? Oh, he did reno pottery. Okay. So do I want to reno? I don't have to. I think I do want to grab the well, though. Well, it's pretty nice. So the reason I wanted Reno there, Reno Major, is because then I can build clay rooms instead of wood rooms. Uh, but if I get a four wood action, or no, there's no way I get four wood. I'm sure Eminem will take it. I'm probably going to have to do three wood twice and then two reed. Yeah, so I'm a little ways away. And when I build my fourth room, I'm going to want to do my stable at that time as well. So, I'm a few moves away.
Yeah, so the reason um, Stable Delivery Man is so strong with Fence Overseer, twofold. One, it makes the stables cheaper to build. The other thing is um, Fence Overseer can only be used once per round. So what ends up happening is that you have to go back to the build room space over and over and over, which decreases some of the efficiency. However, a card like... Um, A card like uh, Stable Delivery Man lets you build stables without using an action, which you can then build fences around with the fence overseer. So ends up being pretty nice. Uh, so I think I take two read with my second action, and then my third action is reno homework. Because then I can play wood distributor, pear peeler, and start using it. Or, hmm, because I need to get that four clay to build. So maybe I need to take the clay first this round. Take the clay this round. Or I can do three wood, two read, and then starting player homework. And then homework will play wood distributor. And then I distribute onto the three wood space or the three clay space. Yeah. I can start using the uh the pear peeler right away too. So that would be handy. I could use the pear peeler on the four clay space. Save myself get myself a green, which I can then use to get clay oven. Where am I gonna get the stone from? Uh probably reed stone food or plow a field. Either of those would be fine. Or I can always just do something with um, fruit cake. Although I probably want to save fruit cake for later on in the game when it I get even more out of it. Reedstone food to read. Reedstone food. Okay, Reedstone food because I hope that read gets untaken. That's my new hope for this round. That no one takes two read. Because then I will take three read and a grain with my first action next round. After doing starting player homework. Yes, I don't have that as many resources as I would like at this point in the game. Like I don't really have an I want don't have enough for that fourth room right now. But I the big plus to what I'm doing is that I don't need a lot of resources. I can basically take them and use them right away. Because hoarder, you know, gives me a way of using resources throughout the game. The stable delivery men, you know, I'll be doing my normal reno building improvements and I when you build improvements, usually you want to get their benefit out of them from them sooner rather than later. 
this is not going to be a, the type of game where I accumulate like a whole bunch of wood like the way M&M is and then use it all at once. Hobby Farmer is quite nice. A uh, little surprised he didn't take Strawberry Patch. I guess that pack was pretty strong. Strawberry Patch, a very strong two point minor improvement. Free two points, too. Eminem playing Cooking Hearth. So, if I do want to get three sheep next round, it is kind of contested. But I think I want to do this play no matter what. Do something like that. And then I'm going to distribute these three wood. And then I'm going to go on the three reed space, leave a wood, and get a grain. So I do still need one more wood to be able to build a room. In which case, maybe leaving the wood was a mistake. Hmm. I'm not sure. SP can build ahead of me either way, so yeah. Doesn't have to be this round. So I need a ton of food. So the best case for me would be that Eminem decides not to uh, build a room, not to take three sheep here. But I th he might. Uh, I guess he has ten food. I don't know. If he doesn't, I have two options. I can build clay oven or I can uh, do fishing. Fishing is probably, fishing is not enough food on its own. So, probably clay oven's the way I'll go. I could fish and then wood fired oven.
So I have one, five. I don't want to, I would do want to let my sheep breed. So I need to take more food with my last action. I would prefer to reno and clay oven, but I still have miners that I don't mind playing. So while I would rather be doing reno major and then starting player minor, doing reno minor and major minor seems to be okay because the starting player action has been bouncing around a lot. So it's not like I'm getting stuck in last all game. So on my to-do list, acquire clay or wood, build a room, when I build the room, build the stable, so either in round 10 or round 12. So I kind of need to decide here because what I hoard will determine I'm not the starting player I can decide if I distribute or not I probably will choose to distribute and if I distribute what will I do fish will I do clay he will probably do four wood and then two clay two wood maybe gets taken so then I end up doing four clay so I should hoard a wood I think So uh, 2H, or uh, what is it? So Eminem decided he's going to play all his occupations with Scholar. <sighs> nice thing about pear peeler is when I do put two wood there, I can leave it behind and uh, get a vegetable, which is kind of handy. Or take one, if there's two wood there, I can leave one and get a grain. Just gives me lots of nice flexibility, which... Uh, is nice means I'm never gonna have to go on the one grain or the vegetable space so that is always handy
So SB is probably going to build one more room, it looks like, with clay pit and one reed there. He'll build one more room, and then... Uh, and then what? So he has two more growths, so I can grow in round 12. So I should plan on building and growing in round 12. So that's fine. What I am behind on is my plowing. I need to start getting the plows going. I'm going to take four wood if it's available. Yeah, I don't see why why I shouldn't. So uh, SP needs to build a room here, otherwise I can build and then grow ahead of him in round 11. Yeah, he does build a room. So that means I do need uh, to do another wood action because I need uh, a wood. I'm going to need to spend a wood here, so then in round 12 I'm going to need 7 again. I'm going to need 9 actually because I can play Petting Zoo then. Or I can play Witch's Dance Ground. I don't know. We'll see. Still to be decided. Do I want to take four clay here? How much more clay do I need for the rest of the game? I only need three, I think. Because if I build a wood room... Hmm. Although the wood actions are all going to be really crappy next round if I distribute. So maybe I do take clay here. I could take stone as well. Or plow. Yeah, actually, I'll plow. That's better. I need to get my plows going. Plow and a stone, for sure. Joe grabbed it, uh, clay once again. So I'll grab three stone if it comes all the way back around and be uh, pretty happy with that. Grain cart, pretty good. Um, Eminem is a starting player, so that's good for me, I think. Three stone here. And now I only need one more stone for the rest of the game, which I get from a reed stone food action. And I need another reed. I'll need two more reed actually. 
Hmm. Ah, oh, maybe I'll get it from another plow action. Yeah, I think Eminem will probably uh, take two cattle with his first move. I think that's what he's eyeing up. So I'm okay with uh, distributing. Ooh, maybe not. not expect to get two cattle but I do so I'm gonna take two cattle and if I take two cattle I'm not going to distribute because if I do distribute it means that there's a clear best action which is n there's no way it comes back to me but if I don't distribute there's a chance that someone takes two reed two wood and then three wood comes all the way back to me So how much food do I need this harvest? There is what is out there that activates the prefect. Only pottery. Pottery is, pottery is the only thing that activates the prefect. So I have to decide, is paying one food now to potentially gain more later worth it? Hmm. Probably not. Probably it's better just to pass on playing Prefect until maybe next harvest it will be worth it, in which case I can play, pay it for free and then I'll gain a bit of food in round 14. But uh, I'm not too concerned one way or the other. Oh, it looks like Joe might build Basket Maker's Workshop. He probably will with his resources looking like that, getting that to, uh, to read to wood action. So that means I need one more food for this harvest. So I could do like a reedstone food action. I could take sheep. Is this one more wood that I'm going to need? No, I still need one more wood total because uh, petting zoo. So seven, no, actually eight. It, eight is right for, okay, so I need a room, which is five wood. I need a stable, which is two. I need another stable, which is eight. And then I need petting zoo. So I need two more wood total for the whole game. And then everything else I should be using pear peeler as aggressively as I can. Yeah, maybe Prefect will activate already. What I should probably do is I should probably take sheep either way to give myself the flexibility of using a uh, pear peeler or not, or of uh, using Prefect or not.
So the plow spaces are going to be pretty hotly contested. Oh, Eminem takes two sheep. Okay. Um, I guess what I could have done is I could have left three wood behind and then done a sow vegetable and bake a grain action. Because um, as it stands right now, if prefect doesn't pay for itself, I need I'm gonna need uh, some more stuff. I'll do reedstone food here, I guess. I guess I could have done starting player fruitcake. Well, maybe I should do that instead. Uh, but I don't want to get rid of that one grain. I want to sow it and then use it for fruitcake after I've harvested it off my fields. I don't know. Yeah, probably starting player fruitcake would have been a better move. Because then I can plow so But then if plow so comes up in round 12, then I'm sad. Actually, I don't want plow so or family growth either way, so I don't know. Because I want to build, I want to grow with a room first, or I want to grow with a room next. Maybe I don't grow with a room. I don't know. It's hard to hard to say. It's really hard to say. What am I going to hoard? Read? going to be a little difficult for me to get to a stone house but there are only two renovation actions needed for those two guys I still need two there is one two three four left in the game uh, the only thing is it's going to be difficult for me to get to build a room and then reno unless yeah uh, dist, uh yeah just two wood on So what I can do is I can do this. Did SP not family growth last round? Oh, that's a really annoying for me if he didn't. Yeah, maybe I don't build another room. Mm, but if I don't build another room, I don't get another person. It's probably worth it to build another room. So I think I should second. My next action should be starting player, mm, petting zoo or whatever, and then sort of starting player witches dance ground. And then, um, if I think the boar is not going to get taken, though, I could build room and then take two boar. That would be pretty nice, having two boar. Although SP, I'm sure, well, maybe not. 
He doesn't have a way of holding them. He would just end up eating them. But he does need food, it looks like. So I can... And I think maybe starting player... I th Yeah, I think build room and then Reno is... Uh, is what I want to do here. Build a room. Build a stable. 